Welcome to this installment of For the Closure and Clarity of the Viewer's Comments. In the last video, I said that I was going to use this sort of as a venue to call people out to the carpet, so to speak. I'm going to take that one step further in this video, where I'm going to literally take the gloves off. Because it is a video of opinion, it is my perception, and I'm sharing those things with you. I'm sharing with you my kuleana to these video comments. Meaning, I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm going to be very blunt with how I feel about what people are coming onto my comments field and saying. Because literally, if these people would read the terms and conditions of the comments field, they would know that they were violating the terms and conditions of the grammar channel. So if you're going to do that, then you get what you get. So I hope you enjoy this, this more blunt, straightforward version of the video, the opinionated video. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments and I'll go back to doing it the way I was before, a little bit more guarded, you know, a little bit less blunt and more roundabout. But for now, this is just an experiment for educational and entertainment purposes only. Also, it's just my opinion, looking at what I have in front of me, people coming onto my vessel, my YouTube vessel as guests and how they behave and how they treat me and others. Enjoy. Welcome to this week's edition of For the Closure and Clarity of the Viewer's Comments. In this edition, I have a choice selection of very interesting missives to discuss. Uh, and the first one comes from CUSDS, whatever that means. And this was a comment left on one of the colon mark hyphen lowercase k kishon colon Christopher videos that I did, which actually brought out of the woodwork a lot of Mark's uh, worshipers, followers, disciples, whatever you want to call them. And this is, you know, this is one of them. And I'm going to go through it bit by bit. There are several comments from this individual. And I'm definitely not going to pull any punches with someone like this. This is one of the, an individual that will start off a critique or a passive aggressive criticism with a positive thing, such as, I love you brother, as if this individual and I are related in some way and that they love me. And then they say, but I can tell you. So when someone says something and then they follow that with but, that automatically negates everything that came before it. It's like a particle of negation. It's like putting a zero in a multiplication problem and zeros everything out that came before it. But I can tell you that your content is not even remotely the same as Marcus Sean Christopher's content. No kidding. <laughs> You do a wonderful job at teaching quantum grammar language. That's it. Well, considering that this individual, I can probably accurately guess, has zero knowledge of correct sentence structure, and also considering that no one else teaches it, least of all Mark Sean Christopher, that's accurate. Mark is all over the board, all around the world, teaching many things along with quantum grammar. And as I mentioned in another video, if you tell me that he te that Mark teaches quantum grammar, then you have lost all and any credibility that you may have attained in my eyes. You have now become incredible. We all make our mistakes. What does that mean? Well, how is that? Are you... Is this individual now making excuses for Mark? But you're just bashing him when you don't even know the truth. I don't think I was bashing Mark. You can look at the video and if you find a place where I'm talking, where I'm bashing him, meaning I'm, I'm criticizing his character, then please share it with me. But I don't think I criticized his character at all. I think what I did was share some opinions and also focused on the grammar of which he does not have closure on and has never 
shown a correct grammar performance. That's not bashing. Some of what you're saying is fairly accurate. But you're giving YouTube far too much benefit of the doubt and Mark far too less. I love you, bro. Keep going. Keep pushing on. We must unite and stop bashing each other for our incorrectness. Well, again, I'm not bashing anyone. I'm here to teach quantum grammar. And I'm also here to shed a light on those who do not. And I can certify everything I'm saying. And instead teach correctness. I do. That's what I'm doing right now. Like you're doing with quantum grammar, keep teaching what you're good at. Oh. <laughs> Let's move on to the next comment from this individual. I've been watching both of you, both you and Mark's channels for a few months. So this individual has only been watching for a few months. I myself have been familiar with Mark Sean Christopher since 2017 when I actually got to know the guy. Okay, so I got a few more years of experience regarding this topic than this individual does. I can tell you Mark's content is far more in depth of their matters such as blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna say that word. In other words, Mark's content <clears throat> is far more in depth in assumption presumption and conspiracy theory things that cannot be certified or easily certified things that can be considered slanderous such as the slander that uh, he perpetrated on myself in a few videos and also on his website he makes mistakes but he usually corrects them well then why wouldn't he take the time to learn the grammar that he falsely claims to teach he took the blah, blah and banned B-A-N-D, the use of it in commercial advertising. That made a difference. What difference did that make? I didn't see any noticeable difference in any advertising. Mark has his flaws just like yourself, brother. Well, you know, everybody has flaws. There's no doubt about it. I've never said any different. If you were to speak up about and try to stop blah blah then youtube would likely to to the same to your channel and then starve david well yeah i mean if i started putting out uncertifiable content if i started putting out slanderous and libelous content of course youtube would ban my channel why wouldn't they that's what they did with uh, mark by my guess you know i don't know if that's for sure what happened but logic dictates that's exactly what happened. That's why I always say, if you're going to make a claim, you have to back it up. Otherwise, it's just an opinion. And if it's causing harm to others, then of course a platform like YouTube is going to take it down. Of course they are. Next comment. Regarding your comment, Mark Kishan at least they get the lowercase k right, but uh, they didn't sp spell the name correctly. Spreading BS, I beg the differ, brother. I have been watching him for some time now. Yes, we know, a couple months. <laughs> and I can tell you much of what he shares is stuff that I am privy of for myself through other measures and means. That absolutely means zero to me, has zero value to me, unless you can prove what you're saying. So I have no idea what this individual is talking about. From personal experience, that's a logical fallacy, appeal to personal experience. That's like someone telling me that they saw a UFO last night and got taken aboard an alien spacecraft and they just expect me to take their word for it because they can't prove it. Mark Christopher is an illuminating and shining light on things that I have been shedding light on for several years now. Again, proof. I lost my children from the state because of it. So this individual says they lost their children from the state. So from the way they worded that, the state, whatever that is, had their children. And now this individual lost their children from the state. So I guess the state, the state had their children and then the state lost their children. And the children, are, I guess, are, are lost. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to hear that. 
You have my empathy. They didn't shut him down for his BS. They shut him down for his accuracy. Ah, so in the first comment, ladies and gentlemen, you notice this individual said that basically I was misinterpreting what was going on. I wasn't giving Mark enough credit. I was giving YouTube too much credit that Mark was basically, he was inferring that Mark was the one that took the channel down. And now he's saying that YouTube did indeed shut him down. So that's what I've been saying. So I guess I was pretty accurate on my guess there. And that's, you know, something anyone can do if they just use logic and common sense. Is he perfect? Not remotely. We all have our flaws. Yeah, we already talked about that. I do not always agree with his language and volitios he uses in anger, but I understand why. So basically, this individual is excusing Mark's behavior. YouTube is monitored by AI bots and algorithms. Yeah. It does not mean that is on the good side. Well, good and bad are both, you know, very subjective. I don't think it's good or bad. I just think it, it is. It is what it is. It has a certain set of criteria that it follows. When it blocks information flow, then it disrupts clear communications. Um, I suppose that's fair. If it's BS, the people will figure it out. But when you have Big Daddy blocking all information, unless it's approved by Big Daddy, that is called a dictatorship. Well, no, that, that's, that's only true if there's coercion involved. If you have no choice in the matter, if you're living in a place where Big Daddy controls everything and all the information, well, then, yeah, that's, that's a dictatorship. But YouTube is not a dictatorship. YouTube is by consent. You don't have to be on here. It's your choice to be here. It's your choice to watch videos and participate and comment. If you don't like it, you can get out. It's a choice. No one's twisting your arm to be here. So it's far from a dictatorship. Sure, you can say it's their own corporation and they own it. No, they don't. The people on it all, the people own it all. Well, the a corporation does not build itself without people. Well, yeah. But the people that have come together to create a corporation called YouTube, those people own YouTube. So, yeah, what this individual is saying makes absolutely no logical sense to me. And I would highly recommend, aside from learning correct sentence structure, which they obviously have no grasp of, number one, because they're a follower of Mark Sean Christopher, and number two, because they show no evidence of it, especially psychological, but the other thing is they could really benefit from a study of how contracts actually work. That's just a polite suggestion from my end. And the final comment from this individual. Bless your heart, Jason. <laughs> Again, they start off with the, with the sugary compliments. You are magnificent and loved beyond measure. However... There are so many things that you do not understand, though you pretend to understand. So now this individual is flat out committing trespass, thinking that they know me, they know who I am, what I am, they know what I know or don't know, what I understand and what I don't understand, and what I'm pretending and not pretending. That's really interesting in that they are literally emulating their... Um, how can I say this? They're literally emulating their savior, Mark Sean Christopher, because that's what Mark does. Um, he makes assumptions about people, and I can prove this. He passes down judgments based on assumption with no continuance of the evidence to back up what he's saying. He just says things, and people just follow him, like this individual chooses to follow Mark Sean Christopher and make the same assumptions. Stick with the grammar, that which you are good at. Now they're telling me what to do. Your opinions and other people's and their channels are just that opinions. Yeah, I said that. I, I make that quite clear at the beginning of every reaction video that they are opinions. Okay. The grammar performances that I audit, that is fact. 
And I will back that up any day of the week, any hour of the day, any minute of the hour, any second of the minute. As you criticize and judge them about their lacking of facts. No, I criticize a lack of continuance of evidence. Where making a claim, if you get called to the carpet to certify it, then you better certify it. Because if you're just making claims without backing it up, they're not claims, they're opinions. Definitely not facts. And when I'm critiquing grammar, that's definitely fact-based. I am pervy of certain things regarding blah, blah, that I cannot just present to you to show you proof that which you also adamantly push for right. Well, then you don't have a position if you can't present proof. Period. End of story. There are so many things beyond your perception. Again, they're making an assumption from my perception that are taking place and YouTube is behind the corruption of many of them. Hilarious. Again, where's the proof? Holding and preventing people from sharing their truths and their facts is a form of corruption. No. Um, actually, taking down YouTube channels for spreading slanderous and harmful conspiratorial assumptions and presumptions is just YouTube uh, performing on the terms and conditions that people like myself and Mark and you agreed to by using the platform. If you don't agree to it, you don't have to be here. You don't. It's a choice. They're not oppressing you. Hate to break it to you. They're not oppressing you. You're here by choice. Is someone, is someone forcing you to be here? And when you smear someone who's been removed from a corrupt platform, ah, so Mark was removed again. I was 100% correct in my guess, and that, that makes me feel good. <laughs> Standing up for them and saying, hey, YouTube, why don't you allow them to speak what they choose and what they see? Free speech, bro. Mm -mm. There are terms and conditions to YouTube, just like there are terms and conditions for people who come to your domicile or my domicile. Same thing. It's common sense, bro. Again, there are many things you are not perfect to that you are criticizing. Well, of course I'm not perfect. Never said I was. Criticizing others about and demanding them to show you proof of which many are not so simple to share. I'm not demanding proof. I'm saying that if you make a claim, you better be able to prove it. It only makes sense. Otherwise, it's just an opinion. Same thing with me. Like when I critique, when I critique the grammar, I show proof that Mark Sean Christopher does not have closure on correct sentence structure. I've shown it. I've proven it. I've proven my claims. However, when I share an opinion, I clearly state it's an opinion. And then like individuals like this, uh, you know, I guess basically get their shorts in a bunch because I'm sharing an opinion they don't agree with because I'm, they take it as like a personal attack on their guru which it's not a personal attack on the guru. I also make it play, play, bleh, sorry, quite plain that it's nothing personal. I am pervy of blah, blah, and I have been speaking up about it for over five years. Where? Share some links, bro. If I try to share too much detail, it gets blocked and I am invaded by intrusive people, people who stalk and belittle and attack from every which way you can think of. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, Every Which Way You Can was an awesome sequel to the original movie, Any Which Way But Loose. It's a great uh, documentation of 1980s life in California from a city hillbilly's perspective, uh, Clint Eastwood, all that stuff. Awesome movie. Love those movies. Thank you to whoever this is for reminding me of that. But anyways, to get back to this. Um, so this person is basically whining about uh, people, I guess, calling them to the carpet to prove their claims. So this individual, just like Mark, I guess, looks like they don't like to be called to the carpet to prove any of their claims. They feel like they don't have to prove their claims that people should just take their word for it because they have first-hand knowledge. But I don't have to share that first-hand knowledge with you, 
You just take my word for it. Otherwise, you're attacking me. You're only playing part of the problem when you attack someone who's trying to do something about it. I'm not attacking anyone. I know you have a great wisdom in you. How do you know that? However, what you are doing with your opinion pieces and critiques is attacking others for their critiques. No, that is not what I'm doing. That's what you're perceiving it as because you have some sort of emotional investment in your guru. That's my guess. That's my opinion. Again, this is opinion. We are waking up from a world. Who's this we? You got a mouse in your pocket that has been upside down for thousands of years. Really? How long have you been alive? How could you possibly certify that the world has been upside down for thousands of years? What do you, you live in Antarctica or Australia or something? The blood going to your head, maybe. Cut some people some slack. Give me a knife. Just as I am cutting you slack for bringing up things. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for cutting me the slack. Let me put some ketchup and mustard on that slack. Thank you very much. Things you do not have a clue, though you think you do, even when you haven't seen. You have no clue what I've seen or haven't seen. Let's unite the people and stop attacking those who are trying. Well, let's exercise some common sense and some logic first and foremost before we do anything. As soon as you start doing that, then maybe you can in unite with others who exercise logic and common sense. But from your position where you are right now, I don't see any evidence that you have any grasp on logic and common sense, and certainly not correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. So if you want to learn correct sentence structure, you can contact me at the email address right there, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. I'll give you a 10 to 15 minute consultation video consultation. I'll provide the venue. And if you want to step up and look at me face to face, eye to eye, I mean, you don't even use your correct name. <laughs> you know who I am, what I look like in my correct name, but you're basically out here hiding behind some goofy profile picture and some goofy nom de guerre name. So I can't really take you seriously. And as I said at the beginning, this is a, this is going to be a real blunt assessment. So there you have it. That's my offer to you. You want to step up, step up. If not, step off. So moving on to the next group of comments. I'm showing you one of my own that I actually posted on a community post that I put up where I asked, I think I asked something like, who is David Wynn Miller to you? Please share your thoughts. And uh, this is what I wrote. I wrote, for me, he is the main individual who brought correct sentence structure tech to the public. He was also my teacher in the last year of his life. He was very kind and patient with me. He was a self-proclaimed 92nd degree Freemason. As far as those people who say negative things about him, and I can only guess that they are simply parroting something they've heard from someone else with no real proof to back up the negative gossip. These critics probably have no closure on correct sentence structure and are just repeating the words of those who chose to wait until after David's death to slander him. I have only fond memories of the man and am thankful I had the opportunity to actually speak with him personally. Thanks everyone for sharing your thoughts. And then an individual responded to that, someone named Rube Starr, who said, when he says 92 degree, he is playing a joke on anyone who doesn't get it. <laughs> this dude is 100% on the level. How could you be level at 92 degrees? LOL. 92 is 9 plus 2 equals 11. He is 11 or 1 is 1. Now that's some very interesting and um, mystifying number play but the way I navigate is I take people at their word if someone is going to speak in riddles to someone they don't even know well then that person is violating rule one rule equal whether David did that or not I have no idea I'm not going to assume 
And it's my guess that this Rube Star is assuming. How could they possibly know that? Number one, did they know David personally? Did they speak with him personally? Were they besties with David Wynn Miller? Now, I personally was not besties with him, of course. I was fortunate enough to have been in contact with him on the phone, emails, Skype, those types of things in the last year of his life from time to time. Um, so I did talk to him personally. I wonder if this individual did. Because to be able to know that type of information is pretty amazing. So what do I do? Being that this is a grammar channel, basically grammar oriented, focusing on claims and facts of claims and providing continuance of evidence, I said, Rube Starr, are you a Mason? Unless you are a Mason, which is a secret society, how could you possibly know that? Unless, of course, you were friends with David and knew him personally. Your comment is the first I've ever heard of that, and I've spoken with hundreds of people all over the earth, not to mention I was in contact with him personally over the year before his death. I notice a lot of people make huge assumptions for him and about him. I prefer to stick to the facts and performances of what he did and, and left. You, of course, are entitled to your opinion. So I'm just asking Rube Starr, what's your certification of your claim? If you make a claim, I'm calling you to the carpet. I'm inviting you to the geometric level playing field to prove what it is you're saying. And then they said, I am part of no secret society. I swore no oaths. My knowledge is from my experience. I could teach others, but first I will teach myself. Weigh my words. I make claims on what I know to be correct. You are the first to even question my authority, which just tells me everyone is asleep, i.e. don't question me because I can't prove what I'm saying. <laughs> I've been asking to be verified or certified lately because if I am just boasting, I surely would like to stop if I'm incorrect. Well, if that is a genuine statement in the last part, well, then I commend Rube Star for their humility. However, based upon this comment, the one before it, and the ones that are following it, I would have to say that this might be a little cheeky. But that, you know, that's my perception of it reading the comments uh, when you make a claim you have to prove it and when they said like i said in this comment here i said my words oh i'm sorry let me continue on with the next comment my words of dave are compliments my point was as wise as is he is he whoa as wise as is he is he is also wow what Also very funny. I would consider myself a level 100 Mason because I am on the level and treat others as equal so long as respect is present. Okay. This individual is considering themselves a Mason when they just admitted that they swore no oath. And so makes no sense to me. A Mason just means mother less son. Really? Is that what it means? Having not been a Mason, I wouldn't know. But you, also not being a Mason Rube star, are telling me what a Mason means. I wonder what an actual Mason would have to say about that. Someone who actually knows what it is they're talking about with regards to Freemasonry. There are only men here. The women are a simulation. So how could you have a mother in my mind a third degree anything does not sound level and i would not build on that no idea where they're going with that so then i said rube star question your authority about what i simply ask you to certify your claims unless of course they are your opinion so i'm offering them an out a way to back up and not have to come to the carpet and prove their claim Rubestar, are you aware that this is a channel strictly about correct sentence structure? I highly recommend watching this video in its entirety. Thank you for your comments. Um, in that video, I'm pretty sure, talks about the terms and conditions of the comments section, the comments field of this channel. So then they respond back. I thought you asked a question about Dave Miller. I was just responding to that. I'll take my comments and leave. I.e. 
since you questioned what I said, since you asked me to prove my claim, rather than do that, I'm going to take my bag and go home. I said, Rubestar, you thought correctly. It was a question about Dave. However, you made a claim for him. Oh, my goodness. And now I made a typo. <laughs> and that's what I questioned you about. If being questioned about the claims you make is something you dislike, then this indeed will be a difficult place for you. On a broader scope, if someone becomes upset because they've been called out onto the carpet to prove a claim they've made, then they probably are not psychologically prepared to step onto into the geometric level field, uh, geometric field level plane of fact that is correct sentence structure. That's okay. Everyone has a choice and learns at their own pace or not, which is true. And Rube Star demonstrated that. If someone gets quote unquote butt hurt just because someone asked them to prove something that they said. If someone questions you about something and you get upset about that and you decide, I'm just going to take my toys and go home, then yeah, this, this probably isn't for you. I mean, because if you feel that kind of way in a comments field, just imagine how you feel if you're in a very high stress situation put under pressure and you have to prove your claims. Like under serious pressure with perhaps threat of physical harm then what are you going to do <laughs> probably not ready for this and the final comment ladies and gentlemen comes from lazy boy researcher please correct my info video and then they proceed to give me a link to a video having to do with some case that they have ladies and gentlemen if I responded to every individual who asked me to correct their grammar or to audit their syntax or to look at their case, I wouldn't have time to eat or sleep. So, lazy boy researcher, I highly recommend learning the grammar for yourself. That's one service I do provide. If you contact me at the email address below and apply for a correct grammar workshop, I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consult where we can find out if this is something you're indeed serious about and you want to learn. If not, there are over 400 videos on this YouTube channel that you can study. So that way you can just do the work yourself rather than wanting someone else to do it for you. That way you can be sure that all accountability lies on your shoulders and doesn't get pushed off to someone else. Um, there is a whole curriculum involved in correct sentence structure that I teach in each hour long workshop and you're more than welcome to apply for it. All right, everyone. I appreciate everyone's comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.